actually so sorry about the background noise and also I have a dog with a broken leg who is determined to lay at my feet so I'm just going to be turning very carefully so here we have a boiled egg and I have um, already halved it vertically and horizontally remembering what we did with our face with the rule of halves last time remember we have to half the half the bottom section so what I'm going to do is take that distance from here down to the bottom of the egg on a little line there. Remember the next part was to halve that bottom half. Is take that distance and halve yes. that. We've got an indication of the bottom of the nose and the mouth line. Add in our two eyes. We have an eye width in between our eyes. So what I'm going to do is a good um, tool to remember is remember the width of the nostrils leads us up to the eyebrows and sorry um, and that gives me about that width and then I'm just going to draw in my eye shapes here so that gives us a really good um, um, so what it's done is give us a pretty good basic face. Hey, look at that. Lines up. Egghead. Introduce you to a little thing that you can do just to prepare for turning the face. Look, this is simply a guide. It's a tool and I found it very helpful over the years to get people to start looking at drawing the face and the head not just front on all the time but just turning it um, to a slight angle that's why we're doing this because when we start to turn it you can see that one eye that's closest to you looks slightly larger then the eye that's furthest away from you looks smaller now disregarding the fact that we have no extrusion here for the nose there's nothing coming out but just look at how the features change when the head turns so if we're looking down for instance we are not seeing the right length between the eyes and the mouth and the nose we can barely see the bottom of the nose in the mouth we're seeing much more shape and size of the eyebrows and the eyes and the same as if it more oh, 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 throwing their head back in laughter you would be seeing much more of the mouth and the bottom of the nose than you would the eyes. Mainly today, I'm just going to get you into that mindset of using this as a tool. What I'm going to start doing now is just mucking around. I'm doing my egg shape. Don't worry about the um, neck joining at this stage. And what I'm going to do is, instead of drawing the egg this way, as we have done in the past, Because then we're going to start drawing the angle of the dotted lines. So you can see here it looks like a plus sign, vertical and horizontal. When I turn my head, that dotted line that was once straight is now curving a little bit. So that's what I'm going to start drawing. It's very hard over to the left hand edge. something like that and I can see that my line here is slightly curved as well from the way I'm looking at it so this one is it's kind of almost straight but I notice this horizontal because I'm tilting the egg forward this one is not halfway now it's below halfway and it's kind of coming around like that. Then you can start copying your positions of everything. There's the nose. I can just see the mouth there.
I'm sorry to say, but <laughs> someone called an ambulance. There's massive head trauma happening here. Oh no, now I'm having an epic fail with the camera. What's happening? Within that egg shape, that we've got the top and the bottom halfway. Okay, it's along this halfway line and to that distance there, good, put a piece of paper up to it and I want to swing around that same distance and put a dot here. If you want you can go down that way and down that way. What I'm going to do though is draw a circle using that as my center point. The important thing to note is the center of the circle lays on the halfway line. Now what you'll notice is they've got this little overlap area here that doesn't make much sense. doesn't matter. All we needed from that egg shape was this bottom line. So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw a line pretty much straight down, but just curve at the bottom. We needed this length. Okay, now we want to come in a little bit from the very edge, because think of this as the forehead. We're going to come in, and that is our eye position. Half of this distance then, half is bottom of the nose and then half of this distance again is where the mouth is. So you can already see we're starting to build up a profile. We have the forehead that doesn't curve straight back. It sort of stays up a little bit more. Then from the brow, we come in. Now it's up to you how far out the nose goes, but we don't want a nose that's going, oopsie. We don't want a nose that's going straight out and straight in. We want a nose that's curving out a little bit to an outside curve and then gently angling down a little bit. So we're going, and this is where it's going to end. So remember with the pupils, the nostril lines up. So it's going to be about there. Then we've got the mouth. Now the mouth obviously isn't going all the way back here. Remember it still lines up with the corner uh, of the cornea. So you want to sort of <coughs> drag... So what I want to do is I'm going to go back in a little bit more. This is the mouth area here. I'm happy with that. And then we've got this line. Now, where to from here? Oh, and I've got the eyebrows. At this stage, side on the eyebrows are going to start right from the very edge. Remember from the mouth out through the through the nostril up, and they can go as far as that. Okay, so we've got that kind of profile there. Now what to do? Well, we know that the ear starts, it actually starts at this point back here. That's another helpful thing about the circle. And we know that the ear starts at the eye level and goes down to the nose level. So we've now got this ability to go oh yeah wow I think this girl's related to me so that gives us then about a centimeter or so down underneath the ear is the jawbone and that gives us then this lovely join up here of the jaw and what we do then is we've got hair I have a bun and you can play around with hairdos. We can do hair if you want, but I'm not getting any um, requests from everyone, anyone. I don't know if you don't 
want to or you don't mind what I'm doing but yeah if you want to learn how to draw hair then we can do that um, this battery's running out okay really fast main thing is with this angle between the central dot and the chin I kind of flip that and that helps me do my neck angle wrong line. You really don't want to be doing the neck uh, straight down. There's been a terrible accident. Accident.